What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony Park and I'm a real estate agent in New York City. Today we are in my favorite neighborhood, Flydar, checking out a $17.5 million penthouse. Quick shout out to Adam Weiner of the Eklund Gomes team for letting us into his listing. Now let's get it. The first thing that comes to mind in a space like this is it reminds me of LA living. Not that I've lived there very long, but that's what it seems like. Anytime you incorporate outdoor space with indoor living, there's a sense of calmness that it brings and a level of peace. Another thing that my eye is drawn to is the type of furniture in the room. Lucas Mashnik, who is the designer for this property, did such a great job picking out pieces that complement the space and don't overcrowd or make it too sparse in this open concept layout. Now, of course, I need to step outside to show you guys the amazing outdoor space. By the way, this indoor-outdoor flow is so underrated. And you have this because you have the accordion glass walls, which I think are such a great touch. Now, as you can tell, this terrace is so long. I'm talking about 75 feet end-to-end -end with brilliant southern exposure. It is wild. I mean, when you have an outdoor space as spectacular as this, you need a kitchen that can serve up a mean meal. Concealed fridge, love it because it runs flush. And you have a whole suite of stainless steel appliances, all melee. And then this island counter, it is 10 and a half feet long of olive maroon marble. I mean, it is, it feels soft too. And then of course the pot filler. If you guys didn't know, a pot filler is so that when you have a pot full of water, it's heavy to bring over here. So you bring an empty pot, fill it up, and you're good to go. And then you also have behind me a butler's kitchen where you have a Miele espresso coffee maker. You know I love those. Now, before we head over to the residences, I did want to point out if you want to eat here, you can eat in here at the dining counter or you have a separate formal dining area. There's a distinction of spaces in this open concept layout, which I think is great, but let's go. Now, you might be wondering why is the primary bedroom facing the north. It's actually because they wanted a quieter space and it's supposedly good for feng shui. And right next door is your walk-in closet. I mean, tons of space. You have storage here along the wall, but you can step inside. Here's your own retail space. What do you think? And then of course your ensuite bath. This one is really cool. I know people talk about a spa-like bathroom, but this one really feels like it, especially with the limestone that you have, not only on the dual vanity, but on the floors, which are heated, by the way. And then this tub, it's beautiful. Now, I don't know if you can tell on video, but this is actually a matte white. Matte anything, that's my jam. And then on the other side, check out this walk-in shower. You have a his and hers shower head. I mean, I'll probably just use both, but this is incredible. For reference. So you might be thinking, why is this guest bedroom so nice? It feels more like a primary with the two exposures. As a matter of fact, you can even see the terrace right over there. The reason why this bedroom juts out is because it actually is a second unit that the owners combine, which is why we have that long hallway and the elevator that opens up just to this unit. This room has an ensuite bath with porcelain tiles and a stone slab vanity, and it even has its own kitchenette. Now let's head back to the other side of the living room to go check out my favorite guest bedroom. Let's go. All right, welcome to my bedroom. It is the only bedroom with direct access onto your terrace, so there's not much explanation that's needed. All the furniture in here is simple and aesthetic, and even the bed, it's low which I think is good for a space this size. I mean, imagine waking up, using the restroom, porcelain tiles, stone slab vanity, and then popping out here with your coffee that just magically appeared and then enjoying this breeze and this view. To talk a little bit more about the space, we have 4,210 square feet of space, four bedrooms, the last one which is actually right across the hallway, four full bathrooms and two half baths. And if you want any more information, it'll be in the description below. Now that might have been my favorite bedroom, but we're gonna head up to my favorite spot. This top floor is the ultimate entertaining space. You have an additional 120 square feet inside and combined you have 1,750 square feet of outdoor space up here and down there. 
Now, I mean, you can see the space that you have, the amount of seating, but you also have a working fireplace. You have a hot tub, a shower that you can use, and a working kitchen. I wanted to hit on the functionality of this space because you have a kitchen with gas and water, which is right next to your solarium. And then this space in itself, you can replace with a dining table so that you can enjoy food, barbecue in the winter. And then of course, you don't want to go downstairs for the bathroom, so you have a potted room right here. That's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. I mean, it's only fitting that we end here when this is an LA apartment in New York City. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you watch the next video because it's going to be epic.